Okay, here we are. Just finished creating our Active Directory and Open Directory Magic Triangle. We created a user I'm sorry, we, in Active Directory and it showed up on our Open Directory server. Then we created a local group called Test and we made a member of Test be a user from Active Directory. Now we're going to bind a workstation, a Mac workstation to our open directory and active directory. So here's my Mac workstation and here we're going to go into system preferences. One of the first things I like to do just to make sure everything's going to work nice and smooth is open up terminal and make sure we can communicate with the domain. So we're going to ping our domain name and we can resolve the domain name. So everything should work. Our network is set, just so you know. I have my IP address in the 192.168.20 subnet, which is my servers, and I am using a DNS server. This DNS server is the IP address of our Active Directory domain controller, and the search domains is using our Active Directory domain for easy finding of our computers that would exist. So to bind, we need to open up the directory services and it's easily done through users or groups under login options. And this is where we have network account server. And we're going to join this to two directory services. One active directory and the other one open directory. Active directory we're going to get users from. Open directory we're going to get the managed preferences from. And click the join button and we're going to type in the open directory server IP address or name so we can type in server 02 advanced net and it recognizes that this should be an open directory do you want to trust the certificates from this server yes we want to trust the certificates from the Mac server Again, we're binding this to open directory. Yeah, we want to continue. We're not using SSL connections because uh, the certificates can cause some problems when you're dealing with clients um, of different versions of the Mac OS. So again, this is a mountain lion workstation that we're doing here. So now we're bound to open directory. And let's just go take a look at open directory and we should see a list of computers in there. Let's see where they hide that. Okay, so here's our server. And we should see uh, where are our computers? I wonder where our computers would be. Computers aren't in here. Well, let's uh, come back here to this after we uh, manage to get the uh, workstation bound to the Active Directory. So I'll go back to our workstation. Okay, so here's our workstation and we're going to go and edit this again and here we're going to we're bound to open directory and we are going to now bind it to our active directory and here we just type in the domain name and we're going to call this this is the name that will show up in active directory so this is Mac workstation 001 Active Directory admin user account and this is the administrator account and the password for the Active Directory administrator account and I changed it I keep forgetting that I changed it there we go
And we are done. We are bound to both Active Directory and Open Directory. Hit done. And underneath the login options, allow network users to log in at the login window. So all network users will be able to log into this computer, and it should prompt us for username and password when we restart this computer. And I think that's the only option we want to change here. We're going to take a look at what happens when we restart. Actually, let's just log out. So other, uh, just a little tip on this screen, on the login screen when you're logging in. If you um, Typically, if you click up here at the time, it should show uh, information about this Mac. So let's try to log in as an Active Directory user. Check over here. That user exists in Active Directory. It's not a local user or a local network user. So these are groups from Active Directory domain. There's a local test group groups from just Active Directory. These are domain admins. Switch over. And here I am logged in as Aaron Halverson. And let's see if we can open up the Kerberos. Go to folder. Uh, I think I have the wrong folder. Let's see here. I can't navigate to it. I go under system preferences, I can see that Aaron Halverson is a network account and it's a managed account. And if I unlock this, Huh, usually you can see the advanced options in there. So a mobile account down here, if I were to create a mobile account, would mean that it would create this user account locally on this computer and allow me to synchronize all of my files, desktops, and, and home folder information between the server and this uh, local computer. So that's it for part three. We logged in. And maybe we'll have a part four where we take a little bit more at managing some of the services on this workstation for this user.